Ever wondered whether to lease or buy a car? Well, you're not alone. It's a common question and the answer isn't always straightforward. When you lease a car, you're essentially renting it for a long-term period, usually a few years. But when you buy a car, it's yours, lock, stock, and barrel. Each route has its own advantages and potential drawbacks, and the right choice really depends on your personal circumstances. Let's dive into the pros and cons of both options. First, consider the benefits of leasing a car. One of the most appealing advantages is lower monthly costs. Unlike buying when you lease, you're only paying for the depreciation that occurs during the lease term, which typically results in lower monthly payments. Next, consider the prospect of driving a brand new car every few years. How exciting is it to have the latest models equipped with cutting-edge technology at your disposal every couple of years? Maintenance is also a breeze when you lease. Most leases come with a warranty that covers most of your repair costs, providing you with worry-free maintenance. And then there's the issue of resale. With leasing, you're free from the hassle of selling a used car at the end of the lease. You simply return it to the dealer and walk away. Finally, if you're using your car for business purposes, leasing could provide potential tax deductions. However, leasing a car also comes with its own set of drawbacks. While leasing may seem attractive, it's important to consider the drawbacks. One of the biggest downsides is the lack of ownership. When you lease a car, you never truly own it. You're essentially renting it for a long term. At the end of the lease, you have two options, either return the car or buy it out. If you choose to return it, you walk away without any asset in hand. Next, there's the lack of control. You're bound by the contract terms which often include mileage limits, prohibiting modifications, and requiring specific insurance coverage. Exceeding these limits or not meeting these requirements can result in hefty penalties. Lastly, let's talk about the fees and other costs. Leasing a car involves various costs such as acquisition fees, disposition fees, and potentially early termination fees. Plus, if the car has excessive wear and tear, you may be charged for the damages. Now let's compare that to buying a car. Buying a car also has its own set of benefits. One of the most appreciated aspects is the lack of restrictions. There are no mileage limits or wear and tear penalties that come with leasing. You're free to drive as much as you want and where you want. Then, there's the total control. If you want to customize your car, you're free to do so. Want to put on a new set of rims, change the exhaust, or add a spoiler? Go ahead, it's your car. Another benefit is the potential for tax deductions. If you use your car for business purposes, you may be able to write off certain expenses. But perhaps the most compelling benefit of all is the long-term cost. While the initial outlay might be higher, in the long run, buying a car is often cheaper. Once you've paid off your car loan, it's all yours. You're not beholden to a leasing company or bound by a contract, but like leasing, buying a car also has its drawbacks. Before you decide to buy a car, consider the potential drawbacks. Firstly, rapid depreciation. A new car loses a significant portion of its value the moment it rolls off the lot. By the end of the first year, your shiny new car could lose around 20% of its value, and by the end of five years, it could depreciate by as much as 60%. Next, let's talk about driving costs. Owning a car comes with a host of additional expenses. You'll need to budget for fuel, which can fluctuate in price. Insurance premiums can be a hefty annual or monthly cost, and they can increase if you have a history of accidents or traffic violations. Maintenance is another key consideration. While a new car may come with a warranty, regular maintenance like oil changes, brake replacements, and tire rotations aren't typically covered. And once the warranty expires, any repairs come straight out of your pocket. With all these factors in mind, how do you decide? Deciding between leasing and buying a car will come down to your lifestyle, driving needs, and financial situation. To recap, leasing offers lower monthly costs, a new car every few years, and no resale worries. Buying on the other hand provides total control, no restrictions, and long-term cost benefits, but remember each has its own drawbacks too. Take time to consider your own needs and circumstances before making a decision. Whether you choose to lease or buy, make sure it's the right choice for you.